Friday um, and another Ed Miliband cartoon. Um, I've been watching the Rosetta Mission. Um, I'm a bit of a junkie when it comes to science and um, astronomy. And I'd also watched the speech Ed Miliband gave where he's obviously trying to reassert his, his authority over the Labour Party and his uh, his grip on the on the leadership and realising the two stories um, might go together I thought I'd try to capture that in the form of a cartoon and quite ironic that I said about two or three days ago on one of these videos that I um, generally didn't like cartoons that labelled objects um, I'm about to do exactly that and uh, create a cartoon with a pretty big label attached to it Anyway, the first part of this video is me attempting to draw Ed Miliband and um, I've not drawn him for, I've not drawn him regularly for quite a, quite a while and uh, I think I've basically lost the knack. Um, I'm still trying to remember how I did it when I started out. Um, it's ironic actually because um, sometimes, you know, when you draw in a caricature you do look to see how other people do it. Um, and most people tend to copy Peter Brooks and just do the uh, Wallace and Gromit cartoon now. But um, it's ironic when I type Ed, uh, Ed Milkman cartoon into Google Images, the first one that comes up is usually my own, so I end up staring at how I drew it about two two years ago. Um, here I'm still just playing around with the key features, his nose, his mouth, his eyes. Um, and his hair actually, his hair is, um, his hair seems to, if you, if you don't get the hair right it never looks like Ed Miliband, but as soon as you get the hair right, even if you've got some of the features wrong, it, it begins to look like Ed Miliband. Uh, caricaturing is, 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 I find it a very, very difficult thing to do. Um, I'm still not comfortable with it. Um, I usually begin with the nose, I think the nose is the most important feature, followed by the eyes and the mouth, depending on who it is, sometimes the mouth is more important than the eyes or vice versa. Uh, in a Millie Band's case, I think, even though he's got these quite um, individual eyes, I'm, I'm trying to think of a kind of way of saying it, but he's, he's, he's got quite deep set eyes, a lot of dark shadow under the lower lids, which are quite pronounced. Which I think caused the um, the resemblance to to uh, Wallace to be particularly obvious, but um, his mouth is also quite quite unique. In fact, he's got these quite prominent teeth, and his, his lower lip, his top lip comes down. His lower lip is a little bit asymmetrical. Uh, and you have to capture these things, and I think once you do, you you do begin to capture a likeness. I'm slowly getting there now. I think I, I feel you know, I think I must have been happy enough with the face to now drawing the rest of the cartoon. Um, I, I always feel quite bad drawing these to be honest. I, I, I don't, as, I, as I wrote in an article the other day, I, I actually quite like Ed Miliband. There's nothing about him which would irritate me. I, I actually think he's the kind of person you, lo you like to see involved in politics and in a country which is usually dominated by crap American reality stars like Kim Kardashian and our um, you know, the monstrosity known as Jordan. Um, it's good to see real intelligent people involved in politics and public debate and one thing or another, but I just have a very low opinion of the British public. Or rather, I've got a very simplified view of the, um, the British public in that you have to either accept that politics and polit political parties are voted for by people based on very noble um, ideals such as you know everybody's out there reading the political manifestos and taking an interest in the debates and one thing or another or you accept that people aren't really that interested in politics and even those and many of those that do vote in general elections and it's not a great many people but it's more than voting say local elections those that do vote in general elections a lot of them are basing their votes on something as trivial as what a, a politician looks like and as much as I hate to say it I mean unfortunately Ed Miliband just does not have that look of a 
of a leader when you compare him to David Cameron who looks utterly inbred and part of the aristocracy but he looks like he was born to take that role and unfortunately I think at the next election that's going to happen again and I don't see any way the Labour Party are going to win or even make it an honest an honest fight. What I worry about is my my politics tend to be quite central, you know, I can I could I could happily vote for either side. Um the wet liberal the wet Tories, I could vote liberal, I could vote, you know the wet side, the wet conservatives, you know, the the centrist Labour Party, you know, even the Liberals sometimes I I don't really have political allegiances in that sense, you know. Um but I do worry about having a, an extreme right wing a Tory party, which is basically what I think UKIP has, has become. Um, the way the Tory party have managed to control the, the debate on Europe is many of the much of that debate has, has moved to UKIP, and I think more late, uh, Tory MPs will vote or move to UKIP over the coming months once they realise that the only chance of retaining their seats on their nice, healthy wage packet is to embrace the popularism of UKIP and uh, ultimately I suppose form a coalition government with the Tories and I, th I think that's what will happen and, and I do I do worry about that I I think the Tories are, are worse when they're dominated by the right and I think unfortunately we're heading into that because Farage has been extremely clever in um, presenting himself, I mean he's a very personal bloke I, mean, I say people don't vote for ugly politicians and there's hardly any politician who's uglier than Nigel Farage but it's not just ugliness in features, it's ugliness in personality and Ed Miliband is frankly a little bit bland but Farage is big, he laughs with his mouth open which makes people think he's got nothing to hide even though he probably should hide his teeth but um, you, th you, th you think you're getting what you see with Nigel Farage but he's been very clever I think in hiding a um, in turning it into a almost a one man party and people vote because of because they like him and they don't really think about the um the people behind him and that worries me. I I don't want our government to be dominated by the right of the Tories. I want the government to govern for the entire nation, not just a certain type of London banker with uh, twelve directorships and um a house in the Herefordshire with the horses and everything. I, I, I want, I want, I would like um, a government to vote for the entire country and especially the north. Um, sometimes living in the north you do feel like the government pretty much ignores you. They talk either to Scotland or they talk to the south and anybody north of Birmingham and we pretty much ignored and uh, I think that's, I think that's wrong. So I think I'm pretty much coming to the end of this cartoon. It's not not one of my best, um, and as you can see, I think that looks better. Um, hopefully tomorrow, if I do one of these, I'll have a better cartoon. <laughs>